Hey, this is Plus with FluxWithIt.com, and we're here checking at the uh, the data module from, uh, how do I pronounce this now, Mordax? Mordax. Mordax, okay. And uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about who you are and what you have here. I'm Brandon, uh, one of the co-founders of Mordax, and uh, our product is the data module. It's a multi-function module for your rack, 16 HP. Uh, and so most people know the data module as the scope module. So we have a four-channel oscilloscope, um, that functions basically like a bench scope uh, where you can change the, uh, you know, the time divisions of your voltage, uh, your positions on your channels, you can trigger off the channels. Um, but it also, uh, the data does a lot of other things. Uh, it's uh, FFT analysis, so it shows you a spectral graph as well as a spectral analyzer, so you can see the harmonic content of your waveforms. Uh, are we going to show the screen here? Or? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. It's a lot easier if I, if I just kind of show you. So here we have the uh, four channel oscilloscope and uh, what we're viewing right here is on the top is a you know, audio frequency square wave. This is kind of a long uh, time resolution so we can, we can go to a, a shorter time resolution and see you know, how fast it is. Uh, but we're also viewing some CV signals. We're viewing two channels of uh, a mass envelope. And so as I change the parameters on the mass, you can see the, the parameters change here. So this, this one in red is uh, controlling a VCA, that's a, a noise signal, if you can hear the noise. And you can see how that's going up, that's the VCA's volume going up. So now it's this little peak. Sweep it. So it's really handy to see the shape of your envelopes while you're, while you're building sounds, because like, while a lot of envelopes, whether the AD envelopes or ADSR envelopes, they have different uh, sort of contours, you know, like a dope for ADSR is going to be different from, you know, uh, BFACO ADSR. Um, so yeah, it's nice to have a four channel scope, we can move these things around, you know, change the position of them, overlay them, and really get a good idea of how your, your CV is working in your system, as well as see your audio signals. But we have, a, as I said, a spectral analyzer. This is uh, that square wave we saw earlier, the audio rate square wave, and these are the harmonics of that waveform. Uh, as, as it's changing pitch. Uh, spectral graph, similar to a spectral analyzer, but it's uh, in time. And so as the notes are changing, you're seeing all the, the different frequency harmonics changing. Um, but in addition to a scope, this, uh, this waveform here is coming out of another data. So the data has dual digital oscillators, jacks on the side here. And these digital oscillators are, uh, you know, Highly accurate. You can get down to uh, you know points of hertz, making you know LFOs, uh, as well as uh, you can tune them to different notes. Uh, these parameters are CV controllable. Uh, you can assign any of the four input jacks to control the frequency, uh, as well as the amplitude of the waveform. So it's, we call it a digital VCA. So you're, you're controlling the amplitude like it was you know, through a, uh, an external VCA module. So it saves a little space. Um, you can, different waveform types are available. You know, your standard waveforms for oscillators. You know, triangles, saw, sine wave. Oh, uh, frequency? Yeah. We haven't really put a limit on it, so you can go really high, and, and, and it gets kind of ridiculous. Uh, so it, you it, go it, into like AM range? And, uh, let's, like, let's see how fast we can get it here. So I'm going to take it off of the external CV control, so we're just going off. Are we talking like megahertz on it? Or? Not quite megahertz. So. Coming in audible. Yeah. It's very, very high. So is that 10k? Okay, yeah. So it's maxing out at 10k right now, but. But uh. So yeah, you can do some interesting modulations with with really high frequency signals. The waveforms start to chunk out, you know, when you get really high, but uh, still useful. Um, so yeah, it produces uh produces you know, dual waveform uh, as well as these other two output jacks are the dual clock source. And so right now we're uh, we're synced to uh, sequencer one uh, external clock. Uh, so there's your BPM of the external signal. It it, it reads that. 
Uh, also gives you the frequency of your external signal and the period of the uh, clock pulses. You can set the uh, expected pulse per quarter note of the external clock uh, at the top here. So this is a four PPQN. What that means is that it's expecting to receive 16th notes. Um, so four pulses per quarter note, four times four is 16. So when you, when you have a, an external sync, uh, it shows you what the uh, sort of pulses would be in time. And then your output clocks here uh, can be ratios of that. And so the, uh, the noise, sort of a, a hi-hat shaker sound, this guy, that is being controlled by clock one. Uh, and right now, the time division multiplication factor is one to one. So it is giving you quarter notes that are in sync, but they're offset. So in addition to controlling the multiplication and division factor, so this division, you can go really high at times 32. And you can see it on the display there, changing relative. Oh, actually. But you also have control over the offset, so the position of the clock relative to the incoming signal. Right now we have it at plus 48. You can go plus or minus 96 in either direction, and so you can hear it's on the offbeat uh, compared to the bass drum. I don't know if your, if your audio is picking that signal up, but we'll go back to in sync. So now it's, it's hitting with, with, the, with the bass drum. And then, yeah, we can uh, shift it over so it's in the center. And you can see on the screen here, your position relative to the master clock signal and the channel two clock. So you have two of these clocks. Yeah. And this is available now, or? Uh, we did a pre-order in, in November and sold out. Um, and we're going into production with that currently. Uh, we're hoping to do a uh, second pre-order, uh, or not pre-order, a second run later this year, uh, uh, late spring, early summer. And with that production run, uh, we're hoping to have units in, in retail. Okay. Um, so, price point? Uh, 395 was the pre-order price. We're hoping we can maintain that uh, into production. What's the power consumption on this? Power consumption's around uh, 260 milliamps. Okay, and the HP? HP is 16 HP. Excellent. All right, yeah. well, thank you very much. Thank you very much.